I'm Larry Walther. This is PrinciplesofAccounting.com, Chapter 23. And in closing this chapter, what I want to do is have you look at how we can leverage modern information systems to enable better decision making. Recognize that there is not a single correct way for slicing and dicing a company's overall results into unitized information. Instead, information systems should empower management to look at the same data set from multiple perspectives. It's not always static, as is typically shown in just flat textbook illustrations. And I can make this point very simply. Consider the company data set that shows $24,819,500 was spent on compensation. Each line item corresponds to an employee grouping. Suppose the manager is challenged with reducing total compensation costs to $24 million. What are we going to cut? It's hard to know where we might or how we might go about cutting costs. Do we just want to, say, take 800000 out of factory, or what, what approach should we use? So let's rearrange this data in a different fashion, this time looking at object of expenditure. It's the same, $24,819,500. But now we're showing, rather than line item, we're showing object of expenditures, salaries and wages, health insurance, unemployment taxes, retirement contributions, and so it goes. Well, now we might, for example, look at row nine and say, you know what, if we're needing to cut, maybe we need to cut our bonuses and stock-based compensation plans some, rather than actually reducing the specific workforce that could result in reduced output for the business and further exacerbate our problems. The data can be further arranged into a detailed matrix format for closer inspection. Viewing data only by line item or only object of expenditure can greatly limit insight into the business. Modern accounting systems enable organizing and rearranging data sets with relative ease. So let's look at how a matrix of data can be presented. The columns reflect expenditures for factory costs, sales, general and administrative categories. The totaling at the bottom of those reflect what we saw in the first table. The rows reflect our object of expenditure, salaries and wages, health insurance and so on, totaling across in column F to what we saw in our second table. The combination of this now shows intersections where we might even gain greater insight into areas where we could experience some element of cost control without really damaging operational performance. Some businesses deploy business dashboards. A dashboard is used to monitor business information on a real-time basis. The name dashboard takes its reference to the fact that it looks somewhat like a car dashboard. Information is easily customizable for each manager's information needs. Specific line items on a dashboard can be clicked to open windows of additional information to support key metrics that are viewed. And so here's a typical business dashboard. Notice I've got different tabs I can select. Home, activity, sales, expenses, documents, setting up the dashboard. Fairly user friendly, fairly intuitive, would look very familiar to you. We might have a KPI meter, a key performance index where we're tracking sales. We've got a gauge that looks like a speedometer showing how we're doing. Any number of bits of information can be arranged and displayed. And the idea is that it's real time, visually accessible, readily interpretable information to signal how business performance is occurring. And so I think you're going to see more and more business dashboards in use in years to come.